How far are you willing to go to be seen on the internet? Would you get your partner's name tattooed across your forehead? No? Well, today I want to talk about one influencer that did just that. Hey there, you beautiful people. Welcome back to Be Hughes Tattoo. So, about a month ago, a video went viral of a content creator, and I use that term extremely loosely. In the video, she appears to be sat in a tattoo studio, where straight off the bat, she's having a stencil applied to her forehead. The stencil is then removed to reveal a name all the way from eyebrow to hairline. This is apparently her boyfriend, fiance, husband, I, I don't care, but it's his name. It, it just looks bad. Anyway, the video then goes on to show her getting tattooed, and as opposed to the untrained eye, it looks very legit. But most tattoo artists caught onto this straight away. Now, I started looking into this because there was a few things in the video that just caught my attention. Like the fact that when he was meant to be tattooing her, the needle wasn't moving. On top of that, there was another thing that made it less believable, which was the fact that the tip of the cartridge was pressed against her forehead. Now, unless you're trying to tattoo her skull, that isn't happening. Also, sorry to the tattoo artist, but the technique was so far off, it was unreal. That would have caused so much damage to the skin. There was absolutely no way this was a legit video. Anyway, she then kept the charade going for about a week. This person then went on to state in the second video that if your partner is not willing to get the, your name tattooed on their forehead, then they obviously don't love you. So I think if your girlfriend doesn't want to tattoo your name on her face, you just need to find yourself a new girlfriend because I don't think she loves you. <laughs> Apparently this is the way to show your love to your partner. She then makes a third video. In the third video, she then goes on to say that she was doing it to spread awareness. Apparently this was to spread awareness that you may regret your tattoos. And all I want to say is that I regret my tattoo, but not this one, because this is actually not a real tattoo. And the reason why I trick the whole internet is that I have a message to young people and all of the people who wants to get covered in tattoos, I want everyone to know that I regret my tattoos and you might regret yours when you get older. And as a person fully covered in tattoos, I feel like this is my responsibility to speak up, share my experience. And when people see me on social media, the first thing they notice about me is my tattoos. So if I influence people, I want to influence people in the right way. Does anyone really believe that? I mean, come on, the second you actually did that, your video went viral, everyone knew who you were, you were in the news. And obviously this was a perfect example of even bad publicity is still publicity. And all you had to do was pretend to get a tattoo on your face. But you're telling me that you were doing that to spread awareness to the younger generations. Now, when I first seen this video, I started looking into this content creator, influencer, whatever the hell she wants to call herself. And the weird thing is, social media is kind of all over the place. You don't really know what she does. In her Instagram bio, it says, follow me for funny videos and positive energy. And the thing is, I don't really understand her social media at all, because her content is the kind of content that you would expect to see on the profile of an OF model. Her entire content is almost solely based on bringing attention to her and So, I don't get it. But at the same time, on her links, she doesn't have any OF account. Now, if we have a look at her YouTube channel, as of now, she only has 478 subscribers and 215 videos, which just tells me that she hasn't actually made the cut for monetization on YouTube. You get the idea. This whole thing was quite obviously not what she's claiming it to be, and it's more just a grab for attention for the social media. The problem is, if people are gonna listen to anybody about regretting tattoos, they're gonna ask somebody a bit more heavily covered than her, or somebody who just knows what the hell they're talking about. Now, personally, I do believe that people should think about whether they're gonna regret the tattoo further down the line. I am a prime example of that. I regret some of my tattoos, but I don't regret what I got, I regret who I got it done by. I was young, I was stupid, and I was in the tattoo industry. But that was my mindset at the time. But now, obviously, I'm gonna think about what I get. The younger generations of today don't really need somebody whose entire social media platform is them talking about their groin to tell them about regretting tattoos. That just makes no sense. 
on her YouTube channel, all of the latest videos have been about tattoos. I just don't think the way to talk about tattoo regrets is getting your forehead tattooed and then instantly segueing into this whole you may regret your tattoos thing. I mean, if anything, you're an influencer, you've probably just influenced a load of people to go and get the boyfriend's name across their forehead. And when you think about it, it's kind of a contradiction. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about this as it was kind of something that caught my attention early on. But look, rather than follow her idea of just not getting tattooed, when getting tattooed, just think about who you're getting it done by, what you're getting, and will you regret it in the future? And if all three of those boxes are ticked, then get the tattoo, who cares? It's your body, do what you want. And let's stop giving these kind of influences your attention in the first place. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.